welcome or welcome back to our channel. This video is one of our fondest experiences from London when we call the city our home until a couple of years ago. It is our experience of watching centre court matches in Wimbledon during Super Saturday of 2019. In this video, we will take you through what it takes to camp in the queue and obtain Super Saturday tickets at Wimbledon. Unfortunately, we were not much into YouTube then, but we do have some video clips. But I hope the pictures used in the video can sum up the story as well. Summer of 2019 will always be extraordinary for one main event. Along with Coco Goff and other tennis superstars, my partner and I were creating wonderful memories that we will forever cherish. It is our camping and Super Saturday experience at the much acclaimed Wimbledon grounds. Living in London for three years and my partner being a passionate tennis player and fan of the sport, one of our bucket list items was to watch some good matches at Wimbledon ground at some point during our stay in the UK. There were three possible ways for general public to buy tickets. One, through the yearly ballots, for which we were too late considering the ballot draws happen in December or January each year. Option two was to buy exorbitantly priced tickets which we were still considering and option three was camping and queuing at Wimbledon grounds a day or two before the game we want to watch. With no camping gear, no prior experience of camping for tickets but with a whole deal of hope and adventure in mind, we decided on option three, camping in the queue. The most fun and exciting way to get our tickets to watch a possibly decent game in the Wimbledon grounds. On Thursday 4th July 2019, after a busy work day, not giving in to laziness, we packed a bag with three pairs of clothes which included our two Roger t-shirts, just in case we get lucky to watch this game, our newly purchased tent, sleeping bag, some Indian snacks, our newly unboxed solar power bank for the occasion and boarded the district line tube to arrive at the Wimbledon station 30 minutes past midnight. At that hour, we were among the few people walking towards the ground to join the queue. The friendly volunteers guided us to the right spot as we looked out for the Wimbledon color coordinated flag with queue written on it. We walked as fast as we can with all our luggage in tow as we saw a few other campers walking towards the queue. Every fast move in the right direction was important. We collected our queue cards, numbers, 1,484 and 1,485, set up our tent, settled into our sleeping bags and called it a day. There are approximately 1,500 tickets in total, about 500 tickets each allocated to the center court, court 1 and court 2 sold on the day of the match. Our plan was to queue for the Super Saturday tickets which meant most top players are going to have a game this Saturday. A day before the match is when we get to know which player plays in which court, keeping us curious for the rest of tomorrow. Waking up to the call of volunteers at 6am on Friday morning, we were eager to see the number of campers choosing today's game as that will give us the rest of us a chance to buy the most sought after centre court tickets for the Super Saturday game. After two hours of moving our tents around in the queue, we were reissued new queue cards, numbers 523 and 524. Almost 900 campers from the previous day had chose to watch the match today. Setting up our tent again, getting us some breakfast from the kiosks in the ground, we were set to spend the rest of the day people watching, feeding the ducks in the Wimbledon Lake, snacking, walking to our favorite Thai restaurant in the neighborhood for a quick takeaway meal, chatting with fellow campers, not realizing we were creating memories that we will be sharing with you all. Although it was a very warm summer day, most campers were having their own picnic, merrily chatting of their past camping experiences in Wimbledon. When we came across one camper who had arrived from Switzerland camping for the sixth year in a row, well, this experience can surely get addictive. That evening, the list of players for Saturday, along with court details, were to be released. And guess what? The center court was to witness four extraordinary games on Super Saturday. Now, we were excited, at the same time nervous, not knowing if we had a chance to secure two of those tickets as we were slightly behind 500 in queue number. 
we had tickets with number 523 and 524 and unsure if anyone would want to miss the center court games the following day with that thought and praying to all our stars we called it a day on 6th of july we were quick to pack secure our luggage in the lockers and make our way to experience our moment of luck we waited in order for our queue card along with thousands of other campers when the tickets for the day were being issued 20 minutes later as the volunteers with ticket bands approached a couple of rows ahead of us we were jumping in joy to see them holding a couple of dozen more center court tickets what a thrilling moment it was to be few of the final campers to get the center court bands for the super saturday game of 2019 we collected our bands purchased the tickets and grinned our way to the stadium with our well earned center court band in one hand and the other holding a cup of strawberry and cream we were all set to witness world class tennis unfold the next 8 to 9 hours we had one of the best seats and could recognize now well known faces of fellow campers all energized and excited The lineup for the day was possibly the best ever. Then women's world number 1 Ash Barty, followed with the greatest of all time Roger Federer, the king of clay Rafael Nadal and the local favorite Andy Murray partnering Serena Williams in mixed doubles. With our hearts filled with joy and uncontrollable excitement still very fierce in our tanned faces we carried back with us not just our camping luggage but a lifetime worth of memories from the last 48 hours in Wimbledon Park If you like this video give it a like subscribe to our channel for more videos on 
travel and other outdoor experiences until next time stay safe take care and wish you abundant positivity now and always